Hello, my beard-loving men and women of the United States military. I have some potentially great news for you. The uh, Department of the Air Force is actually discussing a pilot program that would allow airmen and guardians, remember those that joined the Space Force are now known as guardians. So the Department of the Air Force is considering a pilot program that would allow airmen and guardians to grow beards. And believe it or not, this is one of the most requested changes to the military dress and appearance standards. We all know um, some men actually suffer from ingrown hairs and it's such a problem for them that they actually have to get what's, you know, called shaving waivers. Uh, but these waivers are hard to get. And not only that, but some service members have unfortunately found that getting a shaving waiver uh, is somehow harmful to their military career. Well, what is it this time? How am I supposed to say in cold water? That's your problem. You're in the field now. Where are you going to get hot water in the field? The God's got hot water. You got hot water. You're in the field, right? That's tough. That's right, Byron. How come you guys have hot water and we don't? Man, you, you keep right. quiet. You keep your big mouth shut. We ain't shaving in cold water. So, especially for those who suffer from, you know, painful ingrown hairs due to shaving, uh, this, this comes as good news. Um... Just to be clear, the military has not yet said beards are allowed. However, this uh, pilot program is uh, promising for several reasons. Now, don't get me wrong. You can't go full on Duck Dynasty in the United States military. Uh, but uh, there is potentially a pilot program that would test and research the impacts of male facial hair. All right, so exactly what are we talking about here? So the Air Force's pilot program, which again is just under consideration, but this seems like it's a move in the right direction. Airmen could wear facial hair as long as it's neat in appearance, shaped appropriately, and not faddish, F-A-D-D-I-S-H. So you can't have that beard looking faddish, okay? Um, and those in the pilot program would be asked to limit facial hair growth to just one quarter of an inch. So again, no one's walking around looking like Psy from Duck Dynasty. Um, but yeah. If the pilot program is approved, then selected airmen will be able to wear facial hair up to one quarter of an inch, and it has to be neat in appearance, shaped appropriately, and not faddish. And of course, the pilot program would be used um, to develop uh, data and whatnot, and ultimately members of the Air Force, the powers that be in the Air Force, would decide whether to allow beards. And this is great news, especially for those who have, you know, ingrown hair problems. So, you know, they get a lot of skin irritation, they get a lot of redness or whatnot, um, you know, dark spots where the hair is under the skin. Um, some people call it PFB. Um, it's, it's a skin irritation. It's a, it's a, you know, legitimate medical condition. Um, and it's often found in curly haired men. Uh, so if you happen to be a curly haired male, uh, you might suffer from this. And um, it occurs with some subfrequency. If you look at the stats coming out of the American Osteopathic College of Dermatology, you'll see uh, stats on this. Um, right now, beards are only allowed in the Air Force and in the Space Force if you have a religious or medical waiver. And as I mentioned earlier, those are hard to come by. And some men have said that those waivers have a negative impact on their military careers, which is unfortunate. Um, but a survey conducted for a 2021 study for the journal Military Medicine showed that of those who had received shaving waivers, 21.4% 
said it had a negative impact on their careers. But an alarming 63% of those who said it had harmed their careers uh, within their unit were African American. And so that's a much more alarming statistic. And so services are trying to combat this problem head on. And um, I'm, I certainly think that this could be a, a move in, in, in the right direction, uh, but we'll see if the pilot program is approved. And uh, if it is, we'll see what the findings are uh, from the pilot program. Uh, but just stay tuned, okay, for more information about whether, whether beards uh, will be allowed in the Space Force and the United States Air Force. Uh, you can keep your eyes on military.com. That's where I got a lot of the information uh, that I'm talking about today. Um, but yeah, um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe there is more news on the horizon. Hope you all are doing well, and I will see you next time.